ARP has these fields. So task one a equals ARP uh, source psrc is equal to the source here is 192 a 2.2 that's p machine and b destination is is computer b a sorry 192 2.1 and we are mapping that to uh, computer B source this MAC address. So where's the MAC address of this machine? Let's look on conf if config here. Okay. So paste here. Uh, source destination and hardware source. So let us send task one a. Okay, one packet sent, and here the ARP should change. So that may be uh, IP address mapped to the MAC address of our attacker or machine M. Okay. Uh, this is what we have sent already. This is ARP. So the ARP request and the sender machine that sends is uh, M. The MAC address is M and the sender IP address is 2.2, .2, which is our machine uh, PP. So that's showing that it's been mapped to this uh, address. So task, uh, task 1B is asking on host M also construct an ARP reply packet and send to host A check whether M's MAC address is mapped to B's IP address in S ARP cache again. Okay, uh, let's do that again. Now let's uh, task 1B equal this ARP and OB, which is operation 2, that's, uh, that means a reply packet source now is prs source is now is a a192 and 68.2.1 okay 192.168.2.1 and the destination bdst is 192.168.2.2 and the other way and hardware source is the, is the same and that is hardware address of M let's close that uh, 192.168.2.1 and uh, B destination 192.168.2.2 hardware source is that one so let's send that, send task 1b. Okay, we send already that. Let's check here the R. So saving R. And here you can see that the one, dot one, which is A, is also mapped to the uh, MAC address of the attacker machine, which is M. So now it, the other two machines uh, communication will be redirected to the attacker because each one has got the MAC address of that machine mapped to, the, to their IP address in the cache, in the ARP cache. Okay. Uh, the third 
task is task once he use an arm uh, gracious or gra gracious message task once is equal to uh, arp okay mm. psrc equal is 192.168.2.1 and B destination is 192.168.2.1 and hardware source is 11 sorry one one two two three four five six hardware destination is Our destination is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. Uh, so let's send task 1c and it's sent so here we have the gracias arp uh, Address solution request is gracias arb and sender is broadcast. Uh, the IP address is the A1 and the target MAC address is also broadcast. That's it. It's here. Okay. Okay, I still have the same information there. So that's the first task. Task uh, that's task two. Hosts A and B are communicating using Telnet, and host wants to intercept their communication so it can make changes to a data sent between A and B. Okay. A and B. So uh, Okay, uh, let's do that. Now we are going to spoof. Uh, okay, we have task A here. Create uh, ARP poisoning. We'll try to, uh, to poison the ARP cache of the other two machines. So let's is spoofing spoof a spoof a equal is arp okay so b source 
is equal to to poison A. Okay, the track is coming from B one nine two one six eight dot two dot two and the destination piece B destination is one nine two one six eight two dot one and the destination hardware source let me say hardware source and the source is from this machine so let's check the hardware address of this machine so if if config ether address is here let's copy this and paste here then close here then spoof here let's construct first spoof here before sending spoof p is equal to arp this time the source is the other way around this spoof p the uh, Packets going from here 192.168.2.1 this time and destination is B. Destination is 192.168.2.2. And the hardware source is always M. MAC address. Okay, so that is same. So now we construct it. Let's send and spoof. Okay, send spoof a. Check here the ARP. We have spoof it. Okay, send spoof b. Spoof b. Uh, send spoof B and let's check here and we spoof it because we have well, uh, PC 2.1 which is uh, machine A that IP address is mapped to the MAC address of M and here in machine A the IP address of the machine B um, has got an entry into the ARP cache here which that IP is mapped to the MAC address of M, which is uh, our attacker machine. So now we're gonna do the next step, the last step, which is capturing the traffic, which is going over the telnet. Uh, sniffing all the TC packets and then spoof a new TCP based on the capture packet. Okay, for that we have we will be using a okay this is script which has been given the skeleton of the script. I have done only the small james here I, I have added the if statement and also if the traffic is coming from a the the data should be taken off and we rebuild another data which is new data equal to data dot and we replace uh, every uh, character which is s to z so uh, otherwise the data should stay as it is uh, if the traffic is from b to a it should be the same there should be no change well, let's try what happens here uh, these two machines are already uh, poisoned the arp cache so the traffic will come through the attacker machine uh, at the start we allow the 
forwarding. So I will turn to that to one. Get in a, and we start this we run the this we run this script which is a snip and spoof and we go to telnet from this machine to 192, 168, 2, 2. Mm. So let's run now. We are in, so let's turn off the uh, forwarding of the bucket and let's type here ls. We have got that it, it, it has been changed to lz at the start. The original data is ls, the new data is lz, so s has been changed to. Z. Okay. 